Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got something cool to share with you. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat, and then I have applied one very nice coat of this Julie G polish, and this one is called Fairy Tale. Beautiful formula, leveled out very nicely, and I've topped it off with some Posh Top Coat. And that is what is on all of my nails. Now today, I'm going to be using this Kiss Polish, Kiss Gel Strong in the shade Feminine. It's kind of a berry color. And then I will be using the Simple Colors Hypnotic Transforming Top Coat in um, this light purple called Perpunk. Now these are the ones that, you know, transform and there's a couple of different ways to use them. But today, I'm using them on the mat with the stampers. And I'm going to show you how I did that. I've got a whole bunch of stampers with these already done out on them. <laughs> but I want to show you how I'm doing this. So here we go. We're going to get started. I'm going to get the caps off of these two polishes so we can play. Alright, I'm going to put a very nice little blob down right there. Maybe a bigger blob. And then one of the light transforming top. These are so cool to play with. Um, I did lots of playing before I decided what I was going to do today. And I'm just going to alternate back and forth a few, t I don't know, maybe three times each, four times each. We'll see. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason with it. I'm just playing. And I guess that's about four of each of them. And I'm going to take one of my stampers, and this is just in a little holder. And actually, I didn't want it in the holder because I can't see what I'm doing. But I'm going to plop it down, kind of give it a little twist, and push down a little bit. And then when I let up, you can see that it's already starting to break up into the cells. And it's doing it on the mat, too. So you end up with two stickers doing it, or two decals doing it this way. Now the trick is going to be to remember that this is the wet one, because <laughs> the rest of them are dry. So, and like I said, I've got a whole bunch of these plopped out on different stampers. You don't have to necessarily use a clear stamper. I just had several. Some of them have boo-boos in them, but I figured for this it would be just fine. And I'm going to make decals, or use these as decals. I just picked a color that looks similar to the lighter color in these uh, transforming decals that we have made, and I'm going to be putting them on my nails. And I would love to just kind of, you know, use them on the stamper and plop them on, but they're all kind of funky looking on the other side. They look like just little circles, which maybe one day might be a look I'm going for, but that's not what I wanted today. So we're going to. Um, get started here in just a minute and start applying these to my nails. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're ready to, I've already done this hand. There we go. And I have um, started having to apply the yellow stopper to get them to stick because they're kind of dry and they're not as tacky as they were when I first got started. <laughs> so I peeled it up off the stamper and there it is. And I'm going to just plop that on my nail. And with my other thumb, I'm just going to go around and try to get it to smooth down. They're starting to get a little crunchy. I've been working on this kind of off and on most of the day. <laughs> but I am just mushing it. Okay, I'm back. My battery died again. So I got my thumb done. I was um, in the process of doing it when the battery died. So I'm going to do the next one and show you how I'm doing this. So <laughs> before I get to that part of it, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the yellow stopper. Just a very, very thin light coat just to give it something to stick to. Because like I said, these um, decals are getting a little crunchy. And they're not wanting to bend like they were when I first started doing this. So I've got that little bit of yellow stopper on there. And now with my little orange wood stick, Mr. Woody, we're going to carefully start loosening up this one and pull it up. There we go. 
and place it on my finger and with my other fingers I'm just going to mush it down and smooth it out the best I can you know you're de you definitely want to get get as many wrinkles out of it as you can smooth it out and mush 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 and of course this is the curviest nail I've got and it's going to be my more problem child than any of them Okay, and I think this is where I was at on the last nail. This is just a little tool I got at Sally's. It's like a cuticle pusher, and it's kind of got like a little plastic flat edge. And I'm just going to go around the edges and break off some of this excess. Just kind of flick it off onto the paper towel. And over here, I can't really do that, so got my little handy snippers, scissors, and I'm just going to trim off as much as I can, extra, just so I don't have to deal with it. Now, that cleaned up. Alright, so the next step, I have some acetone here in my little cup, and I have my cleanup brush. And I'm just going to dip into the acetone. And by running it around all the way around the edge, I will be sealing it to the nail some and just tapping on the ends. It just helps melt that polish onto the nail. And you're just going to want to do that until you feel like it's smooth and, you know, the way you like it. As you can see, there's a little bit over here on my underside, and I'm just going to, I don't really care if it all comes up, I just don't want it like, you know, being bulky and, you know, sticking, catching on things, whatever. Alright, and then you can also take your finger across the end and make sure that that's smooth. And there's that one. Let's do one more. We're going to start off with the yellow stopper again. I tell you what, let's go with this one because it's not near as wonky of a nail. It's not near as curvy. And I'm just applying a super thin coat. It's almost tacky, streaky of the yellow stopper. And I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to use this one. So, I'm going to go up under it with my little tool. You can use an orange wood stick or whatever works. Whatever works for you. I think I'm going to turn this one around. And I'm trying to lay it like right at the cuticles. I don't have to do as much cleanup back there. And I'm just rubbing it. Trying to make sure I get out all the little wrinkles, running my nail over it. And we're going to pop back in and get some of this excess off of there. I was really excited about playing with these. Now, when they originally came out, I was like, I am not buying those. I am not buying, I'm not falling for that. I'm not doing it. But then I saw another YouTuber playing with them, and I changed my tune. I've got kind of a bubble there. I'm going to try to smooth it out a little bit. Not really a bubble, more of a crease. <laughs> so, all right, back to the acetone and the cleanup brush. And I will show you over here on the side, see how some of it's missing? But by using a similar color that was in it, it's not as noticeable. In fact, most people would not notice that. At all. Oh, 
whacking you guys around again. I'm so sorry. I try to get in close, and if I've, I've realized that if I try to just zoom in close, it has trouble focusing and gets all blurry. So the closer I can get it, just and get it to where I want it, the better off I am. Until I start smacking y'all around, and then that's no good. So we're just trying to smooth this in down here. I really don't want it, you know, being a problem child. So I'm just tapping it until it kind of thins out and smooths out a little bit. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and do these other two off camera, and then we're going to come back and put some top coat on them and call it to done. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we've gotten all of our cleanup done. I just got to top coat this one and we're going to be finished. I am using Posh Top Coat again today. Here we go. <clears throat> so I did pick up the whole collection of these, all five. And um, I did play with them a little bit before I settled on this manicure. I will be playing with them some more. Um, I hope to in my next video show you a different way of using them. Um, this was the decal method and they've also got you know apply it to the stamper and plop it on your nails or even you know thick coats of polish on your nails. So I did do it on both hands. Yay. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. And if you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you. So leave me a comment down below. That is all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.